political headaches are piling up for GOP gubernatorial candidate Carl Palladino. News 4's George Rickert reports protesters came to Palladino's doorstep again today. As Carl Palladino hosted a fundraiser inside his Ellicott Square building, outside the other end of the building... A hundred people gathered for the second night in a row protesting his remarks about homosexuality. There's no way I can vote for him now. You know, you say something hateful like that, intolerant of people that are equals, and it's not, it's not okay. We'd like them to educate themselves on where Carl Palladino stands. A lot of them spent time in, in a club that Carl's uh, family owned. The old Club Cobalt here on Delaware used to be run by Palladino's own son. And another gay club known as Buddies 2 was also in a Palladino-owned property. The people of the state of New York expect people to get out there and be genuine and say what's exactly what's on their minds. But on Sunday, when he told a gathering of Orthodox Jews that homosexuality wasn't as valid or successful an option as getting married and having kids, he offended his own gay nephew, who works for his campaign. His nephew hasn't shown up for work since. And now that Palladino apologized to the gay community, he's lost the endorsement of the New York City rabbi, who applauded him for the remarks in the first place. You've lost control of your campaign. You've lost control of the persona that made you so special, Mr. Palladino. Carl Palladino agrees with him on some things and disagrees with him, th him on other things. Uh, Rabbi Levin uh, is a good man, and we wish him well. The $100 a plate fundraiser tonight was expected to raise about $20,000 for the Palladino campaign, now less than three weeks before Election Day. George Rickard for the 10 o'clock news.